We just want to <coughs> come together this morning and most all give thanks to God because we know what's going on in the weather yes. and there have been some lives taken. Mm -hmm. But at this time, we want to pray. We know it's coming this way. We don't know what it's going to bring. But, Lord, we ask that you be within the midst. Yes. Lord, we ask that you help us to ride it out. Yes. Lord God, we ask you to provide us with everything that we are need or necessary. Yes, sir. Lord God, we know <coughs> that even if the power go out, Lord, you are in control. Yes, sir. No matter what it is, Lord, you are in the midst. Yes, sir. And, Lord, we're going to look to you for strength, guidance, and comfort. Lord, we want to ask you to bless those families that are going through something. Those that are have been traumatized, those who have been touched by this bad weather and this storm, yes. those who have lost loved ones, lost everything that they had, Lord God, we yes. ask you to be with that family during this time of roughness. Heavenly Father, we just want you to know that ain't nothing we can do, Lord, but to lean on you, yes. to look to you. Yes, In your word, Lord God, you said there would be hurricanes, there would be storms. <laughs> and Lord, we are now in the midst of one. Father God, we ask that you help us to make it through. If there's ever a time that we need to come together as one, as people, as human beings, the time is now. Amen. So, Lord, we give you honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 At this time, I have a speaker that's standing for me this morning, Reverend Myers. Amen. Amen. How about giving him a warm welcome, warm hand clap, please? <laughs> Thank you. Let the church say amen. Amen. Let the church say amen again. Are you happy in the Lord? <laughs> Give God some praise. Amen. It might be storming on the outside, but we got joy on the inside. Amen. Amen. You ought to give God some praise. Amen. And Reinhardt asked me to preach for him this morning. He was having a problem with his eyes. So the Bible always said, be also ready. Amen. Amen. And we are helpless to one another. Thank you. But there is a word from the Lord in 2 Chronicles, the 20th chapter, and the 22nd <laughs> verse, and also the 149th number of songs. Amen. In 2 Chronicles, the... 22nd verse says, and when they begin to sing and to praise the Lord, they sent ambush against the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir when they were coming against Judah and they were smitten. Amen. Amen. And, and then also 
um, in the 149th song we talked about uh, praising the Lord, singing the Lord a new song. And I want to talk this morning, if you allow me for a few minutes, subject, getting ready for your turnaround, because right. victory is in your praise. Amen? Right. Getting right. ready for your turnaround, because victory is in your praise. Shall we pray? Eternal God, our Father, we ask you, Lord, to hide us down behind your glorious cross, that if we preach your word, that you will be glorified and magnified, and we'll give you all the glory and all the praise. Bless your people. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Subject, getting ready for your turnaround because the victory is in your praise. Amen. Every time you and I praise God, it is given to God an opportunity to get ready for our turnaround. Amen. Are you ready to be, to confuse the enemy? Are you ready to complete your turnaround? Are you ready to get back what the enemy has stole from you? Amen. The Lord says that what he is about to do for you is going to stir up fear and not for the, and only for the enemy, but those around you who said you wouldn't and you're going to not get your miracle. Amen? Amen. Those who say God wouldn't heal you, they're your enemy. Amen? Amen. They said that you are crazy, but they're your enemy. Amen? Mm-hmm. But get ready for your turnaround. Amen. Amen. Your house might be in foreclosure. You might be behind on your bills. And you may not have enough money to do what you need to do. But get ready for your turnaround. In the scripture here, David gave God praise. Amen. Amen. Even when it was sometimes it's hard to praise God. And I always tell people, you can praise God when everything is going well. Well, But but when you... uh, on the mountaintop, everything is going. But when you're in the valley, can you really give God praise? Amen. Amen. Uh-huh. Your light bill might be due. Your baby might be need a pair of shoes. Huh? Your telephone might be disconnect. Come on now. Waiting on your next paycheck. But you ought to be able to still give God some praise. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you what you need to do to get ready for your turnaround. Because Jesus can w- work it out. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Won't he do it? David said, I'm here. And David is right now is being a light, letting his light shine for God. Amen. Amen. He don't want the light turned on him, but he wanted to turn it on God. Amen. Amen. David is a worshiper because he prays, he's praising to know that God delights in him to go about a way of causing God to shine. Amen. Amen. That's why the scripture tells us, let our light so shine that men may see our good word not to glorify us, but give God the praise. Amen. Amen. When you are praising God, we are literally throwing the spotlight on our God, amen, Amen. who is worthy and deserves to be praised and to be glorified. You ought to say amen under there. Understanding this, the more we put the spotlight on him, the more he causes us to shine, amen. Amen. John said in the gospel that it is important that we put the spotlight on God, but not ourselves, amen. Amen. And I want to tell you this morning that when you make up in your mind, that I'm going to praise God in whatever I'm going through. Amen. You're going to make it. Amen. Amen. And he said, let Israel rejoice in the market. Let them children of Zion be joyful in the king. Let them praise his name with a dance. Let them praise him with trembling and harp. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I want to say that when you come to church, you ought to come with joy. Amen. Amen. You are not walking this house like we're at a funeral home. Amen. Right. But you ought to come giving God some praise. Amen. Because he woke you up this morning. He started you on your way. You ought to give God some praise. He brought you all week long. You ought to come and give him some praise. He said, said, God is getting ready to bring you out of a dead situation and put your life back where things were need to be. Amen. I don't know. Have you ever looked back where you were? And you know you're not where you are now? You ought to give God some praise. Amen. And you ought to praise him because he's worthy of the praise. Amen. You ought to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm going to let my light shine. I'm going to let my light shine. Where It doesn't matter wherever I go. I'm going to let my light shine because there's victory in the praise. Amen. The Ram Spirit says, I will praise even God for even the things that he's going to do, even before they happen. You got to have a right now praise. Amen. You got to believe that God's going to do what he said he's going to do. We walk by faith 
and not by sight. Amen. And you ought to remember that whatever you ask God for, you got to believe he's going to do it. Amen. Yes, people would look at you like, I remember you when. So what? Look at me now. Paul said, if any man, if any woman be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away and all things have become new. You ought to give God some praise that you're a new creature. Amen. Amen. The spirit of praise is the vehicle in which God has come not only to minister, but to minister through us. Amen. Amen. Since God can turn it around for me and help somebody else to get their turn around. Amen. Can I say right here, God just did not save you to say, I got mine. You ought to be concerned about somebody else. Amen. Amen. If God has saved you, you ought to go out in the street and let somebody else know that God saved me. He can save you. Amen. And because he has no respect of persons. Amen. And you ought to give God some praise for even allowing you to be here this morning. Because there are so many people that are in the hospital, in nursing home, even behind prison walls, wish they could walk into anybody's church this morning. But we praise God that we're able to walk in his house. Amen. That's why the psalmist said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Uh, I oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I need to ask you, right? Is he worthy of the praise? He's worthy of the praise. This is why we should have an attitude that I love to praise him because of who he is. Amen. I love to praise him not because of just what he is going to do, but for who he is. And, he, and we ought to give him praise because he gave the best that we could praise him. Amen. When he sent his only begotten son, he gave the best that he had. Am I right about it? And, and we ought to give God some praise because he loves us. Even in spite of who we are, he still loves us. I might be down, but he can pick me up. Huh? I might be broke, but I'm not bankrupt. Because my father's rich with houses and land. He holds the wealth of the world in his hand. And then I like, even in the midst of, he said, giving God praise. If you got to talk against somebody, and you go to reconcile with them, he said, take a, a witness with you. And then he said, if you don't accept it, take it to the church. Amen? And you ought to take it to the church in love. Amen? We want to hold nothing against nobody. You can't praise God when you got animosity in your heart. Amen. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But he said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. And I want to tell you this morning, the reason that you ought to give God praise, because he woke you up this morning. He started you on your way. Huh? The scripture said, I waited patiently on the Lord. And he inclined unto me, Brother Reinhardt. He heard my cry. He brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the muck in the miry clay, put a new song in my mouth. Praises under our God. Many shall see it and be glad. I will praise the Lord. I need to ask you this morning, can you praise him? If he's been good to you, you ought to get on your feet and Give God some praise. Uh, somebody said when the praises of God go up, uh, the blessings will come down. Uh, I will praise the Lord. Uh, the 149 says, praise ye the Lord. Sing unto him a new song. Let Israel rejoice in him. Then may the children of Zion be joyful in king. The 159 song said, praise ye the Lord. God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmness of his power. Praise him in the mighty acts of his according to exceedingly greatness. Praise him with the sound and the trumpet. Uh, praise him with the harp. Uh, praise him with timbering and dance. Uh, praise him because he's worthy of the praise. And, and I got to tell you, I can't help it. I got to give God praise. Uh, when I think about all he's done for me, uh, my soul uh, cries out, uh, hallelujah, I praise God for saving me. Uh, yes, I'm going to praise him uh, because I got victory in the praise. Uh, I got victory 
over the enemy. Uh, I've got to give God praise. Uh, praise him uh, because he's worthy yeah. of the praise. And, and if you praise him, if you praise him, yeah, if you really praise him, right. you will see results. Amen. Have I got a witness? You will see results. It's easy to praise God when you're on the mountain. But he want to know, what are you going to do when you're in the valley? Can you really praise him? Huh? That's why I said, get ready for your breakthrough. It's on the way. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. I believe I got some witnesses here. He's always on time. Why are you trying to figure it out? He's working it out Amen. for your good. Amen. Yeah. I will give God praise. praise. That's all he wants me to tell you this morning. Praise him. Might be storming on the outside, mm -hmm. but even in the midst of a storm, we still can give God praise. Am I right about it? Amen. Because he's going to handle it all anyway. Amen. Yes, and then we just sing, there's a storm out yeah. on the ocean, uh, and it's moving uh, this away, if your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Drift away, Lord. Drift away, Lord. You will surely drift away. There's a storm out on life's ocean. You will surely Drift away, there's a storm out on life's ocean, and it's moving this way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Amen. We're going to have Reverend Reinhardt come and open the doors, church, and lead us in prayer. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you. 